shored up by wooden walls when the complex was abandoned. Two more bars of iron, and some boards, and a saw. <sighs> more iron bars that are too heavy for me to carry around. This is why more strength would be useful. And it dropped regular thorns. Oh dear. I know what that is. The exit from the tunnel is just ahead. You can smell fresh air, you also faintly smell grass. It's peculiar, as this dry, barren area doesn't have any plants like that. You also see something curious on the floor ahead of you. There are several cylindrical containers that look like canisters, each a little over a foot high. The sides are made of thick, carefully blown glass. Most of them have been broken and the contents are long lost. One of them, however, is still intact. Inside you see glowing fluid. It swirls and moves around, seemingly under its own power, in its own way alive. It probably is. I've never seen anything exactly like this before, but you have seen similar objects. The shapers can contain fluids filled with life energy, which heal or energize those in need. This must be something like that. Of course. Small section of fragile glass at the top. If you break it with the palm of your hand, the substance will come through and energize you. If the effect will be good or bad, you have no idea. I don't know. Another venom thorn. I don't think I would want to spend a living tool on a single venom thorn. Even if I can't get them easily this early. What the heck? Rounded door? Big tool, curing spores. 120 coins. That chitin. 9 armor, 10 stun resistance, 5 poison and acid resistance. And... Mechanics isn't high enough to disarm this trap. Poison trap. Had to cure it twice. Hey, but spray crystals. Uh oh. Green mine. Don't those usually spawn creations? Well, I can disable those. Not sure I can disable these dark ones. at me. Living tool. Like how they tried to hide that one in with the plants. Totally guys, this is just another bush. I'm still burdened down, but carrying another thing of chitin armor isn't helping. for another point of strength, and another point of leadership. And now, I'm still burdened, but not as badly burdened. Spell energy. Twenty two javelins. A locked chest. Sure, what's in it? 
Oh, two icy crystals. I'll take it. I've been putting those to use successfully at this point. Getting extra attacks this early on is kind of a good thing. Ow. Oh, I'm glad, even though I didn't notice that mine, it was a weak one. Okay, we'll drop the vat shit in there. Along with these six bolts of cloth. And I do know that I left some iron bars up there, too. for me. Small shaping chamber. Looks like it was used, used, being used to breed more batons and tools. And now the tools can breed in my backpack. Four holding cells here for prisoners or rogue creations. Two doors open, two doors closed. What do you want to bet there's stuff in the closed doors? ghost. regular attack or didn't want to there. that it's quick on the draw well I'm out of that close. I can do this. Maybe if I stood off to the side so he didn't have a line of sight on me. Okay. experience for killing him, and Artila skin tunic. Plus two battle magic, minus one mental magic, armor plus eight. Not as strong as chain mail, but... Plus two battle magic is pretty good. Pick it up! Jeez, pick up that. Let's see how this pans out. Grab 
grab the iron bar I left back here. So we can... Oh, well, that discipline one isn't going to be worth anything now. But I'll sell it anyway. did something to you. Something very strange. Stuff didn't heal you or revive you like you expected. It changed you. Like it soaked into your skin and rewrote some of your very being, making you stronger. You give yourself a new ability, a new spell. However, it's not in your mind where it should be. It's woven into your body and any part of you. You call forth and feel deep within yourself a powerful urge to find more of these canisters and see what they can do. At the same time, you feel fear. It's been done to you. You feel such compulsion to have it happen again. That is a very powerful skill, but I'm not sure that I want it. Well, now I can see a lot more. A lot more. Free gate. Around, barely able to believe your eyes. What you are seeing is simply not supposed to exist. There is green grass all around you. You can see trees in the distance and hear birds and other wildlife. Supposedly these mountains were barren and no shaper had succeeded in creating healthy life up here. This is this was totally wrong. It's also illegal. It's completely forbidden. It means that someone in the valleys of Ted is doing shaping without the permission of the council. Major shaping, with many new life forms being released into the wild. It's one of the greatest c crimes a person can commit. Even if the results seem beneficial, releasing new forms can have unforeseen and horrible harm, and can cause unforeseen and horrible harm. One mistake, one rap, rapacious, rapacious, whatever new creature or new disease and devastation can result. I start to feel sick. This happening is huge and dangerous, and the people responsible are powerful. Yet, as a shaper and representative of the council, it is your job to do something about it, whatever the cost. That is a very, very locked door. That is the situation seemed, suddenly gets far worse. There has been a fight here, blood on the grass is still damp and... You are able to figure out who was involved. There is a broken necklace in the grass snapped off of someone's neck and crushed underfoot. You in instantly recognize it. it. You saw it enough times. It's Shanti's. Shanti must have snuck out of Dry Peak and come here ahead of you. Then she was attacked. She isn't here. There's no body either. You'll ha you will have to find out what happened to her. Whatever happened, you doubt it was good. That's not good at all. That sign is also bad. So... Well, I guess we can poke ahead a little further. It's a strange feeling when you step through the gate for the first time in your life. You're outside of Shaper lands. The incredible power and reach of your people doesn't extend here. You are truly in the wilderness. Beyond the gates, some servals are waiting to greet you. They have weapons drawn, and they look neither subservient nor stupid. They look at you with hatred, and their eyes have a strange, glazed look. It raises its blade, points at you, and says, We have been sent to meet you. Any Shaper who steps through the free gate is bound to judgment, Shaper. You are loyal to your kind and a risk to us. We are sorry, but you must die. Well, crud. Let, just, just give me a second here. I've got to drop like a million things. Do, 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 do. Shaper challenge the fight. Shaper's pack explodes, spewing inventory in every direction. Uh, and then fall back. Ow. Do 
I still have that speed pod? I don't need it right now. Friendly servile. Get out. Another one. So really see more armed servos wearing dark robes. They run towards you and you start to worry. This many servos can make for a difficult fight. One of the dark robed servos, when he gets a close look at you, says, Shaper, we come to help you. Attack! Then he turns to face your attackers. Oh, we were getting ambushed. Huh? Okay, these guys are pretty strong. Where are these javelin chuckers? There you are. Stop throwing javelins at my supposed friends. Get out. Now that the fighting is done, the leader of the small band of servos walks up to you. He is small but very strong and wields his sword with confidence. He looks up at you confidently and, fortunately, without hatred. He says, Welcome to Freegate, Shaper. I am Rhodus Blade. Come here to protect you from the ambush and to advise you. This is perilous here. If you continue to explore here in our improved regions, you should head north to Madab instead of south. Our leader, Learned Pinner, will give you a much better greeting. And who are those servos that attacked me? They were from Rising, far to the southwest. That's a very hostile place, run by a shaper named Barzale. He's a very dangerous, and you should be wary if you decide to go down there. Someone named Barzale is in Rising? I'm looking for him. I would. That may, not, that may not be wise, but if you choose to meet Barzale, I will not prevent you. Perhaps you should head north to Madab. Learn Pinner can tell you much which would help you pre prepare for your journey. Okay. Trying to find an agent named Shanti. I fear she is in great danger if she's still alive. This looks uncomfortable. I do not know what has happened to your agent. Perhaps Learn Pinner can help you. She is in Madab. You think that he's lying. He knows something. I want to know about Shanti. Now. Sorry, Shaper. I have my orders. Learn Pinner will tell you what you want to know, but you must come to Madab first. Son of a gun. Where is it? Follow the road north. The woods are perilous, but if you follow the road, you will be safe. Assistance? Thanks. I believe... When these woods were being created, the shaping station was set up nearby, just to the northeast of the gate. I think perhaps you should look there. If you want, to re well, if you want me to reach Madab safely, some supplies would help. Thanks. Let's grab all my stuff again. This blade is pretty tough. Madab, Madab. He said there was a shaping station somewhere around here, but as overburdened as I am, loud squealing, you say. I've been filled with total terror, and I can't do anything until I die. Or I'm not filled with terror. Yep. Blarg IRA corpse. They were baiting me. No wonder he said the roads were perilous. 